Greetings everyone and welcome to another round of Resident Evil 2 the board game. You may notice that one, two, I have two players. So this is one of those mandatory two player scenarios because we are on the assassin. The echo of the gunshot still loud in their ears, the figure staggers on, hand pressing against the wound to stem the bleeding. For now, the identity of the attacker can wait. All that matters is finding a way to reach the others before darkness overcomes all. In the scenario, one of the characters has been shot by an unknown assassin, and the other characters must race to the rescue of their stricken comrade. The player successfully complete the scenario if they remove the mortally wounded condition from the character who begins on 1. So, this person's mortally wounded, I made it Leon. So there's my mortally wounded token to indicate that. This scenario takes place in the sewers and the RPD basement. Leon's in the sewers, and... I had the other character be Claire, she's in the cesspool, or the RTPD basement. So, at the start of the scenario, the character on one is mortally wounded. He can only take three actions during his turn. If the health track moves beyond danger, normally in this game they would be unconscious and you need the other character to get them, but in this case, it's game over. Desperate times. We do not begin the game with any ink ribbons in our pool, although we can find one. Split scenario. So this is like the power plant scenario. We're isolated in two separate areas by their starting squares and will not be able to interact with each other until we unlock a door with the eagle metal. So as you can see, there's this dotted line divide here. So that means that I have these uh, two maps here. This is one map. And this is the other map. And you can see the eagle door is over here. The starting square is its own tension deck, which is the tension deck for that area. Effects from each deck will only affect the uh, area in which the starting point is located. So Leon cannot affect Claire with his tension deck and vice versa. Opening the door by the locked, uh, locked by the eagle, eagle metal connects the two areas. Shuffle the tension decks together, etc. So my mortal wounded person, this sucks. They only have eight green cards and six bad cards. It's a really dangerous time. Whereas the healthier person has 26 green cards and 10 bad cards, two of them being Mr. X. So that's cool. So characters starting in two have a knife and a handgun, and I can do the shotgun, bowgun, two cans of first aid spray. So I got that going on. I actually let Claire have... Well, I, you know what? There's no need for Claire to have the shotgun, because... No, you know what? I'll hold on to it, because even if I meet up with Leon, that does not necessarily mean that I found the item required to heal him. So I'll I'll give that a slide for now, and I'll discard the shotgun if I need to. And the other character, handgun knife. Too bad. Deal with it. Only one character may begin the game mortally wounded. They begin with a knife and handgun. And if I had carried over items from a previous campaign scenario, if I'm playing campaign mode, I gotta discard or trade that stuff to other characters. This game's no joke. So the eagle medal is on the bottom half of the item deck, and... The bandages, I need to beat the actual scenario, but they could be the top item for all I know. Well, I guess we'll find out. And item deck B is cool stuff, including custom handgun parts. However, Claire does not get any of that stuff. Actually, now that I think about it, now that I think about it, the B deck has the... Uh, Oh no, it's custom hand apart. No, I guess we're good. Item deck A has the grenade launcher. Claire could find that too. So, no, you know what? I did it right. Claire's in the right place. So, I guess we'll just get started and try to find each other. So, I want Leon to run as far as he can to the eagle door and I guess draw B items if he can get away with it. That's pretty much how I'm going to play this. So we'll start small. One, two. It's just one zombie. Three. Zombie attacks. We're off to a good start, ladies and gentlemen. So that hurt, but I can throw the zombie away. And he moves in, and we draw the tiny tension deck. This, this is a really dangerous deck to have. Tough hide. Even after the undead have fallen, they remain, their bodies unheeding all but the most harrowing of wounds. 
So if I kill a zombie for one turn, it'll be replaced by a corpse. You could do worse in this tiny room with a zombie. I would like to see what that item is. The item B items are pretty good. Bullets, healing, ink ribbon, custom handgun parts, there's nothing I don't want. Now it is Claire's turn. As Claire, I want to get to all of the item A items as fast as I can. Unfortunately, this means going backward because my way out is these stairs. But that's just what I'm going to have to do. So, one, two... There's no bowgun ammo. I will handgun the dog. Well, I nick it. I will fire at it a second time. Jeez. Okay, very good. The dog's dead. That's fortunate for me. And he's out of the game. I'm never going to draw any more dogs. The only enemies I could roll in encounters are Mr. X or zombies. The dog's out. My handgun ammo is now reduced to 9 already. It's actually really scary, and I can't use the shotgun. That's that's my turn, so all clear. Hey, now it's Leon's turn. One. Oh, just two blue dice. Okay, I was going to say stop messing with me, game. Two, three. And I'm, I'm busting down walls even as I speak. One. Two. Um, that's really it. So, tension. Mounting. Trepidation. The lights grow dim, the shadows deeper. Breath held, you creep forward, knowing disaster may be soon to follow. Place this card in the center of the playing area. Next time I roll an encounter thing, I subtract two from the roll, which sucks. So I'll put that over here so I remember. So I'm safe for now, but it's going to be bad. Next we have Claire, so let's do... I'll run to the end first. One, two, three, four. This is actually really tense because I don't want Leon running out of tension cards. This is super spooky. But the thing is I have to get the Eagle Medal to encounter Leon in the first place. So all I have to do is unlock the door and I'll, and I'll be golden, but it, it's scary. So, uh, tension. Mark target? Are you kidding me? So, place the mark target token on me, so when I encounter Mr. X, it's going to be a bad time. So I'll, I'll put the card here so I remember what that means. I am the marked one. So if Mr. X ever sees both characters, then he will prioritize Claire, which I guess is good. Leon will not have this happen for him. So nothing really happens to Claire right now, so I can't complain too much. Leon's turn. First things first, take the item. You know what? That's perfect. There are no red herbs in the scenario. This is the only healing item there is. Oh, no, that's not true. There's a first aid spray in the item A deck. So I have the, the green herb, but there's no red herb to combine it with. There's only blue at best, right? So I will do this. So I was standing here, right? So I'll move one, two, and those are my three actions. So move on me, move toward me, and tension card. Finally, geez, all clear, what's that like? Claire gets to do one, don't worry, it's green, two, three, four, do worry, it's Amber. That's almost as good as it gets. One zombie, so it still kind of sucks. There's my zombie. Um, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that was my turn, so move on me. Tension card. Are you freaking kidding me? Alright, guess what? He takes a swing at me. And because of zombies on my square, that means that I actually need to roll a level 3 escape to evade him. This sucks. And he deals an additional 1 damage. So that's awesome. Thanks, game. 
and that was a level 2 evade, which actually normally would have evaded this guy. But not this time. So that's awesome. So that's considered a success. I take 2 damage. I can't push Mr. X off, but I can push the zombie. So you're out with my force of will. And that was my tension card. So the good news is Mr. T, er, Mr. T, Mr. Tyrant eh, will be trapped here. And there's only one more Mr. X card. So I can't complain too much. Leon, I need to roll to escape the zombie who's standing on me. Good. So, one. Don't worry, it's green. Two, three. I really need to move, like, badly. Um, one. One. Maybe I should start shutting doors. Tension. I don't know how I'm going to get anywhere in time. I can barely move. In any case, all clear, magically. But it's only going to get worse from here. Claire's turn. I need to get off of Mr. X. So that's just immediately two damage. I need to roll to be able to heal. Right, no, you know what? I'll roll to do something. Let's do that. I'm dead. Hey, that never happened, actually. There, I escaped. So that's... Two, three, four. One, two. Because he moves, uh... Yeah, two squares toward me. So I'm a little bit out of reach. And one. So I can heal on my next turn. Now, what are we doing? Tension card. All clear. Leon's turn. This is, like, the scariest part now. Because... One, this is a red square, and I roll minus two. This is going to be god-awful, actually. Best possible roll, which would have been I draw an extra card during the tension phase. Actually, considering that I'm mortally wounded, that's a surprisingly terrible roll. So this becomes a four, though, because of my previous tension card. So I can get rid of this now. So it's a four, which means one zombie lurch forward. So an enemy on this tile and other ones lurch forward. So he's on me, and he gets closer. So that was... That, I only moved one square, though, right? Or did I? I had to roll to escape the zombie. One, two... No, I guess that's where my turn ends, right? Alright, and now that I've entered the encounter area, it's the zombie's actual turn. So, this guy attacks me. Success. You're out. But then the other zombie comes in and is simply on me. And tension, which is magically clear. Now it's Claire's turn. So, this, uh, this item is supposed to be on her square, so that's a uh, one. And I'll use the item right now. Two. Three. Well, four. And now Mr. X attacks, uh, which I evade. Zombie moves. Okay, and that's her turn. All clear. Leon needs to evade the zombie that's standing on him, which he does. Um, how am I doing this? Let's do one, two, three. What is my prize? Handgun bullets. I will take it. Uh, and that's Leon's turn. He can only do three things, which is really frustrating. Grizzly reanimation. The fallen lurch. One oh the oh the fallen lurch once more. I get it. The fallen lurch once more to their feet. Risen to feast upon the living. Not even in death does the nightmare end. Roll the encounter die. Worst case scenario, uh, corpses become zombies. If there are no corpses, spawn a corpse, which is not a big deal. There are two corpses in this room. Hey. Okay. So let's do this. All 
right? Well, that was my tension phase, so at least those zombies don't move, right? Because it's going to get ugly real soon. Now it is Claire's turn. Time to escape Mr. X. Which I do. One. Time to escape the zombie. Which I do. Two, three, four. One, two, but he's trapped. One. That zombie will be, I'll, I'll be long gone by the time that zombie is able to move again. All I have to do is move one more tile and he won't know what to do. Tension time. Okay. Leon. One, two, three. I got it. The stress, man, I tell ya. Uh, an ink ribbon. That's pretty cool. I have to actually discard it to get the ink ribbon, but that's pretty nice. It is. And so now, um, how am I doing this? One, 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 one. Don't worry, I'll be out of this room as soon as I can. I hope. So that is, yeah, that's their turn. So tension. All clear, magically. Claire. One, two, three. Four. And look, he's two tiles away now, so he doesn't know what to do. That's it. Those enemies are gone. All clear. Leon's turn. I need to evade two zombies. Which I do. One. Two. Three. Yellow. <laughs> what awful news. Hey! No enemies, baby! So, uh, move, move, move. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is shut the door. Rest Actually, no, I don't need to anymore. I really don't need to anymore. I'll just run away from them, it's fine. Uh, okay, now... Oh, tension. Bleeding out. That can't be good. This is a new one. Sharp pain threatens to overcome you. The coppery taste of blood filling your mouth. You don't have long left. I suffer one damage. Yeesh. Shuffle the discard and draw piles together to refresh the tension deck. Oh, so I'll never run out of tension, but I will run out of health. Well, this isn't so bad. Uh, the bad news is that I will constantly lose health over time, but the good news is I effectively have infinite tension. So let's do this. I'll shuffle these things together. I have refreshed the tension deck. I was really wondering how I would make it to Claire. Turns out I can, but I'm slowly dying. Which means that's all the more reason I gotta hurry up. There we are. Okay. We now have a brand new tension deck, but I've taken one HP's worth of damage. And I only have one green ink ribbon, although I can find... No, I really can't find a first aid spray. Claire found it. So I, I need Claire to hurry up. So that was my tension phase. Now it is Claire's turn. One. Yellow. Two, three, four. That w uh, You know what? Three. First aid spray. Bloop, bloop. Tension time. Clear. Leon. One, two, three. Everybody in. Ugh, everything's so full. You move forward a little bit, and that's it. No bleeding out. Okay, all clear. Uh, the good news is that Leon does not have any Mr. X cards. That's just impossible. Although... Yeah, there's no possible way Leon's going to encounter a Mr. X, even on a roll, so that's kind of nice. Uh, Claire's turn. One, two, three, four. Um, there. Eagle metal? A blue herb. I don't even know if I'm going to encounter poison in this scenario. I gotta see something. Undead ambush, figure more. Tainted wounds, maybe? Maybe that's what it is? It's unlikely that I'm going to need a blue herb, but whatever. Draw attention card. All clear. Now it is Leon's turn. One. Custom handgun parts. 
Discard this card to replace the handgun card with a custom handgun card. Okay. So, two. Discard. Hey! So this thing's way better. So now, uh, it's still one bullet pushes and two bullet holes does one damage. It's no different, but... I may count two single bullet things as one double bullet thing, so it's slightly better odds of hitting, which is kind of nice. So, handguns out, custom handguns in, that's pretty rad. And three. Everybody in, there, and that's his turn. I basically just have to hope I don't keep shuffling bleeding out to the top of the deck, because that's going to be a bad time. Claire. One, two, three, four. All clear. That was it. Leon. One, two, three. Yeah, we're good. No enemies are nearby. Uh, grizzly reanimation. So, let's hope that I don't resurrect a corpse right next to me. You must be joking. All right, guess we're doing this now. Huh? Huh? This is unreal. This doesn't happen. What a disaster of a hallway. Good thing I'm not dealing with that. Um, and that was my tension phase, so that's over. When I enter the next room, I will shut the door, because give me a damn break. Um... Yeah, that was my tension phase. Okay, Claire. One, two, three, four. That's it. Clear. Leon. One. Red. The only other red tile in the campaign. That was... I had that on my pants. Hey! So, uh, draw an extra card during the tension phase, which is actually bad, but there are no enemies in the, the red tile, so I really can't complain. So that was one. Um, oops. I'm not in a good sitting position here. Two. Those zombies are out of here. Three. Good, now I don't have to move all that junk. Tough hide. Even after the undead have fallen, they remain. Their bodies unheeding all but the most harrowing of wounds. If I kill a zombie, replace it with corpse for one turn. And another. Bleeding out. Damn, dude. Alright. Ouch. Guess I'm shuffling the uh, the deck again. That's not very good. That was less than half. This is see. This is what I don't like. Bleeding out can be a very very dangerous thing. Okay, we have a full tension deck again. I don't like it. I'll have to start healing soon, even though I only have three actions. Okay, Claire. One, two, three. Yeah, let's just fire the, the handgun, three bullets of the dog. I'll save the bow gun for if anything gets closer. Uh, I push, but unfortunately this guy heard me, so that didn't really do anything. And now it's the enemy's turn, so this is a, sc this is a scary room. Oh, and he heard me too. So, on me. I didn't think my brilliant plan all the way through. Handgun ammo is now at a, a measly six. And tension. Okay. Next is Leon. Ah, uh, you know what? Heal. One. Two. That's the last of the B items, but it is handgun bullets. And three. No bleeding out. Okay, all clear. Claire's turn. Uh, you know what? I'm going to avoid the dog. I'm going to avoid the dog. All right. Two. Three. That's one dog just out of the game now. And my fourth action will be firing at the dog right in front of me. Which is a push but not a hit. Too bad. And he's on me. And that is...
three handgun bullets left. The dog that is on me attacks. Success. And I push him away. Not terrible. Also, I don't know what the hell uh, a, a typewriter is doing here because Claire cannot possibly get an ink ribbon. Leon can. So why would I ever come back here? Never mind, don't worry about it, it's fine. So, tension time. Something's out there. Your heart races. Your mind lost a fierce, chill embrace. All the while, the trample of footsteps draws ever closer. If I leave the tile that I'm on during my next turn, I gotta draw two more cards. Cool, I can't possibly do that unless I retreat. Alright, Leon's turn. One, two, three. Golly, that was simple. All clear. Claire's turn. I'll fire the last of my handgun bullets at the dog right in front of me. I, I wish I didn't hit it at all. So now I'm just out of handgun bullets. I might as well just get rid of my counter because I'm not finding any more handgun bullets. It's impossible. And so I'll just discard my handgun and my blue herb. What the hell, right? Why not? What am I doing? Well, eh, I'll hold on to the handgun just in case, but I'm not going to need this damn thing. So, you're pushed back, but you land on me. Um, I will roll to get off of you. Success. Two, three. I will roll to get off of this one. Success. Four. And now, the dogs can't lunge, can they? No, they cannot. That's a big fat zero. So, on me... Yes, he's not quite there yet. Damn it. It's, it's, it. I want the dogs to be both in the same place so I can bowgun and blow them to oblivion. But it's not happening. Tension time. All clear. Leon's turn is one. Open fire at the zombie with three shots. Remember, two single bullet holes will count as a double. Never mind, I... God damn! Mass destruction! That's the best roll ever. That zombie is so dead, I don't know how even his dead body will exist in this dimension anymore. So that's two. He heard me. I'm going to attack the next zombie, because I can. Actually, no. No, I won't. No, I won't. Um, I will reduce my handgun ammo count by three. I will walk right onto the zombie, and don't worry, it is a green tile, speaking of which, uh, he heard me, so now it's the enemy's turn. So the zombie that's on me attacks, which I avoid. You, sir, are out of the room. The next zombie moves forward as part of his actual turn. I draw a card. Grizzly reanimation. There is one corpse on this tile. Will it reanimate? No, for once. Jeez, this freaking game. Uh, that was his turn. Claire, I will roll to see if I can move. I can. One. I roll to see if I can move. I roll to see if I can move. That didn't happen. Wow, first try every time. Three... Four. Oh, and the reason I didn't roll, there, there's, um, it, it's a green, uh, tile. Although I did forget one very important thing, which is to spawn two freaking liquors in this room. So here's a liquor, and there's a liquor. This is going to be hard to deal with. Very hard to deal with. So liquors move just one. Huh? Huh? It's, it's very shortly going to be Bowgun City over here. So, tension. All clear. Leon will do one. Two. Three. I landed on a corpse. Good. Tension time. Tough hide. Uh, zombies will turn into corpses if I kill them. I don't plan on doing that, so it's fine. Uh, Claire... I have six bow gun shots. You know what? First thing I'll do is first aid spray. 
That's one action. Next, I will bowgun the liquor, which means I get to roll all three blue dice. Unfortunately, the liquor has... Yeah, 3 HP, which means I'm still not killing the damn thing. Unless I roll perfectly. I push him. Two. Three. Actually, we can't fit, can we? We can't fit. I can't have two liquors on me. So I guess that... Oh, and the, well, actually, that wouldn't matter anyway. The one in front of me attacks. And uh, now it's my turn to try moving. Which I do. Four. They both attack me because they have a reach of one. Success. Success. Cool. Um, the dogs are locked out. Yeah, tension time, that's it. Undead ambush, that's a disaster of a situation. Remember this from the beginning of the game? A dark silhouette is the only warning before glass shatters the jagged shards and death resumes its tireless pursuits. Spawn two zombies. No mercy, man. Here they are. Uh, Leon's turn is going to be a one. Two, and he's in the last room, which is unfortunately a yellow tile. So that means encounter. Oops. Yeah. That's a uh, one zombie. There, I can actually do it right here. So it's the enemy's turn. He moves. And he moves. This guy's two tiles away, so he won't chase me. So I have two zombies to deal with. Tension time. Bleeding out. God damn, dude. Blah. I can not draw bleeding out again, or it's just game over. Or I'll cheat. Either way, it's not going to be a good time. So let us shuffle the tension deck, ladies and gentlemen. This is a tense scenario. You really got to book it. And Claire is pretty damn far away, too. Full tension. Speaking of Claire, uh, let's do one, two, three, bing, four. Ha ha. And uh, this is green, so don't worry about it. I'm on the same floor as Leon. I finally made it. But can I get to him in time? Unnatural strength. The undead snarl and drag at your clothes with frightening vigor. Their claw-like hands locked in a deathly grip. For one round, I can't push zombies after failing to evade them. Not that that's often been a problem. Also, I haven't drawn the other Mr. X card. Uh, the bad news is that this uh, area I'm in is infested. Oh, and... Uh, I fired the bowgun once, I forgot. I'm at 5 ammo now. Whew. Um, you know, I really I really probably should have just discarded the shotgun in the beginning of the game, considering, like, if I were playing as Leon, I would have had that instead. It's just that I can't give the shotgun to Leon because I refuse to meet him until I get the bandages. So the eagle medal and the bandages are both here. I must raid both of these rooms, which sucks. So let's... Oops. I'm knocking figures over. So... One, two, three, Amber, bad news. Eh, that's not bad. One zombie, kind of bad. Uh, both of these places are equidistant to me, so I'll put them on the one that's not in my way. And four. That was actually a pretty tame roll for where I am. Uh, tension time. Come on, Mr. X. No, all clear. Leon will fire three bullets at the zombie he is standing on. That's a kill. Two single bullets means one double bullet with a custom handgun. You're out of the game, buddy. But you heard me. Leon is now down to uh, nine shots. And he will fire at this zombie as well. That's an actual natural kill. Boom! Get out of here! 
So now we are down to six shots. Boom. I'll get closer to the eagle door, I guess. Why not? All clear. Claire's turn. One. Oh, yeah. So I... Oh, no. I forgot an item downstairs. But I can bring the grenade launcher downstairs. This might not all be lost. Two, three, four. I was a fool. But I can make this work. Vigor Mortis. I forgot what this was. Um... Jaws snapping and claws swiping the air. Your foes suddenly jolt forward, death glittering in their bloodshot eyes. Choose an enemy on my tile to perform a special attack, which there is not one. If there are no eligible enemies, spawn a zombie on my square and resolve a basic attack. That's some close quarters. I don't like that. Alright. Blah, he's on me. No success. And I push him away. Leon's turn. One, two, three. And from now on, I'm just going to immediately end turn with him. Grizzly reanimation. Uh, there are no corpses on my tile. We're cool. Claire. Boom. One. And look at that. There are two liquors in front of me, and I just so happen to have a splash damage three die roll grenade launcher, which can maybe eliminate them all. Miserable failure, miserable failure. Single damage. So they don't react. That's something. So they each take one damage. The zombies can't really move because the, the liquors take up, uh, like, four. They're two each. So I'll just go again. The liquors have each suffered one damage. And they're dead. Alright, and my grenade count. Where's my grenade launcher? Token, there it is. Grenade launcher shots are down to four. The zombies move in. I'll bow gun them. Yeah, that's a kill. Boom. Although, now that I think about it, I'm on this tile, so those dogs heard me. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, because I attacked three times. A little bit annoying, but you know what? That that went pretty damn well. I cleared the scariest room. Uh, tension time. Clear. Leon's just going to forfeit his turn. Tough hide. I don't care. Claire is going to do one, two, three, four. Maybe it's better that I left this place first after all. I was able to kill the liquors. Bandages. I can cure Leon now. Discard this card to remove the mortally wounded condition from this character or another character in the same or adjacent square. Cool. One, two. One, two. Okay. I can actually possibly do this. Tainted wounds. Was this the poison thing? Grime and filth covers the nails of the hands reaching for you. A dark promise of infection for the unwary. For one round, all enemy attacks inflict the poison condition. In addition to any other effects. Yikes. Maybe I shouldn't have discarded the uh, blue herb that quickly, but we'll, we'll deal with this. Leon forfeits his turn. No escape. What was this one again? Behind, you hear the creak of the door opening and closing again, accompanied by the sound of shambling footsteps. Tile closest to me where there are enemies but no characters. Put enemies from this tile on one tile closer. Alright. Boom. You're in. You're still too far away. No, you're not. He can move closer to me. Not that it really matters. Claire, grenade launcher time. And I don't have any healing items left. Okay, that's okay. That's one damage and splash. They're dead. If that were the bow gun, that wouldn't have killed them. So that's one turn. Three. Two, three, four. Leon, forfeit. Actually, yeah, he'll have to forfeit. All clear. Oh, I drew the card first. I should have moved the zombie first. Whatever. Claire, one, two, roll to escape, success, three, roll to escape, 
success. Four. On me. In the room. Tension. Prehensile grasp. A pale and bloody finger snatch at you from places unseen, an icy hand grasping your ankle and holding fast. I get the token. At the start of my next turn, I have to evade or lose a turn. So, uh, I'm marked and I have prehensile grasp. That's not cool. Leon forfeits. Move closer. All clear. I am on a time crunch right now. First of all, roll to be able to have a turn. Good. Second of all, roll to get off the zombie. Good. Third of all, roll to move away from the zombie. Good. So that's one, two, oh wait, that is uh, a yellow tile. Almost as good as it gets. Scent of Fear. The character, oh, Leon, immediately draws a card from the tension deck. God damn. Cold as ice. And um, that was one, two. So let's do this. Three, four. Clear. Leon. Oh, uh, you know what? One. Attack the zombie. Nope. Two. And he moves closer because he heard me. Attack the zombie. That's a kill. And now Leon is out of handgun ammo, but that's okay. I have two reloads, and I won't need to reload anyway. All clear. Claire. Two. Three. Four. Amber. Three, that's not good. Two zombies. Jeez, no mercy from this game. Um, I did one, I did one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that was the end of my turn. Uh, so they both come to me, which is unfortunate. And then I draw a tension card. And then Leon forfeits his turn. And then, actually no, Leon will have moved one space forward. Then he'll forfeit his turn. Claire needs to roll a level two escape, which she does easily. One, two, oops, two, three, yellow. <laughs> Nothing at all. Four, forward. Nothing. Nothing. One, two, three. What do you know? It's the Eagle Medal. Four. In. Nothing. Mounting trepidation. What was this again? Um. Oh, next time I encounter something. Next time. Yeah, next time, well, Leon would encounter something. Roll minus two, and that's not going to happen. So this just doesn't matter for Leon. Uh, Claire. One, two. Level two escape. Success. Uh. Three, four. Get closer. Nothing. Oh, <laughs> Vigor Mortis. Choose an enemy on my tile, not there. Spawn a zombie on my square. Basic attack. Dick move, but okay. Can I escape a zombie attack? <laughs> but I can. So I push you away. And, um... Yeah, this is this is gonna be it. One, two, three, four. Are you goddamn kidding me? Alright. Teleport. So Mr. X is right on top of me. He takes a swing at me. Uh I'm dead. I mean actually I successfully avoid him with no effort at all. Do I need to roll? Yeah, I don't need to roll anything weird for him, so that's just, I avoid him. Uh, Leon will take one turn, or, to reload. I'm actually reloading my handgun, I didn't think I'd be doing that. So we're back up to, 
oops, not 10, eight shots. I will fire at the zombie. Well, that's a push anyway. I'll just, ugh, I, I have nothing else to do. I'll fire at the zombie again. He's dead. Boom. Leon is down to two shots. Moment of truth. This is the big moment of truth. Bleeding out. I mean, no, that card was way further down in the deck. Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. I'm down to my last two cards. This was literally a luck of the draw being down to the wire. I drew an all clear. That's bleeding out. I hope I don't draw that next turn. That would be bad news for me. Claire. She gets to move. Unlock with that eagle medal or whatever. Yeah, it unlocks doors. Luck by the eagle medal, right? And now I will roll again to make another move, which I can do. I will discard the bandages to heal Leon. And I win the scenario. Damn, this is really down to the wire, though. So now you can see how this challenge is here. But I was able to successfully beat the sewers and the cesspool. This was a pretty interesting round. More stressful than I uh, realized because Leon's just on a timer. I mean, not necessarily Leon, but the character that chose to put in his place is on a timer. That's that's no joke. But this was a pretty fun scenario, and uh, luck of the draw could do some crazy, crazy things. So thank you for watching. Until next time, everyone.